एम बी बी और मैकेजी बॉस्टन कंसल्टिंग ग्रुप एंड बेन आर द कंसल्टिंग रूलर्स ऑफ द कॉपोरेट वर्ल्ड दे आर द प्रॉब्लम सॉल्वर्स टू फॉर्चून फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस कंपनीज वर्ल्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इवन होल कंट्रीज विथ ऑल इट्स वेल्थ ऑफ क्लाइंट्स एंड टैलेंट दिस प्रॉबली नो कंसल्टिंग एस्पिरेंट हु डजेंट विश टू वर्क फॉर वन ऑफ द बिग थ्री In this video we'll take a short tour of how these three consulting powerhouses compare to each other. So if you are presented with the highly enviable position of offers from all or some of the MBB giants, you can be confident of making the right and informed decision. Who are the MBB and what do they do? The MBBs are prestigious management and strategy consulting companies with global standards and integrated approaches to solve their clients issues. The wealth of their clients is more than the GDP of any small country. And with such clientele, MBB employees are quite unsurprisingly some of the brightest with usually a Harvard, Wharton, INSEAD or some such equally prestigious MBA degree. Despite the apparent profile of consulting for the biggies, There are distinct differences between the three. To any common man or woman, any of these three may seem larger than life intimidating giants. But some research can reveal a distinct size difference between them. McKinsey being the biggest giant, with BCG smaller but not too far behind, and Bain the newest kid on the block but no less formidable. McKinsey was founded by former professor of accounting at the University of Chicago James O McKenzie in 1926 It is headquartered in New York It has over 130 offices around the world and 38000 employees over 10000 of them consultants Its annual revenue last year was over 15 billion dollars The Boston Consulting Group or BCG is the second biggest established by Harvard Business School alumnus Bruce Henderson in 1963 It has its main offices in Boston, Massachusetts. BCG's 25,000 employees including 7,000 consultants work from its over 90 offices around the globe. Its annual revenue last year was 11 billion dollars. Bain, the smallest of the big 3, was set up in 1973 by BCG colleagues William W Bain Jr and Patrick F Graham. It also has its headquarters in Boston. and has 13000 employees including 4000 consultants bain's annual revenue last year was nearly 6 billion dollars mbb have strong resources and expertise in specific areas and candidates with different backgrounds usually have a better chance at one of them over the other consulting firms mckinsey has established a stronger presence in emerging markets such as latin america and sub saharan africa Though all three are equally strong in Northern America and Europe, with BCG having an edge in parts of Germany. McKinsey has always been the undisputed market leader, but Bain has consistently made its mark with its market differentiation and risk-taking talent. BCG meanwhile comes across as more seasoned. by balancing accumulated expertise and bold creativity mckinsey's education and technology practices are much stronger than those of bcg or bain but in private equity bain offers more mbb has a pretty grueling selection process it is nearly impossible for a consulting aspirant to try and break into any of these three firms during their off cycle among the three mckinsey has the highest intake which often occurs outside the campus recruitment cycle and is also open to non mbas mckinsey emphasizes on problem solving through its problem solving test for consultants they test analytical skills as well as pressure and stress handling skills BCG does multiple rounds to test experience fit in the BCG culture 
interpersonal and communication skills and of course the ability to solve problems as presented in case study type interviews bain also looks for problem solving skills leadership skills results delivery in previous positions and passion and entrepreneurial drive besides the experience interview and the case interview bain also conducts an in-depth written case interview for which the candidate is given some time to prepare so how does the selection process vary between these three firms The difference in the selection process is mainly in the type of case interviews that the firms conduct for job applicants. To most of this information comes from publicly shared knowledge. It is safe to say that the process is intense with McKinsey leaning on interviewer led approach while BCG and Bain rely on candidate leading the process. McKinsey conducts intense interviews to assess the candidate fit while Bain conducts a pressure test to bring the candidate's integrity under its microscope. It tries to find out whether the candidate really believes in what she is saying. BCG has its own device conducting interviews with tricky questions. For example, what do you think of the decor in this office? Or how do you plan a birthday party for a colleague? This is to assess whether a candidate is smart and quick and is able to provide usable solutions to problems. Pretty much everyone envies the kind of salary packages that the mbb gives out the compensation is similar across the mbb border given any particular location consultants of the same seniority living in new york for instance may draw almost the same salaries however differences in salaries are usually seen between consultants in the same firm working in different cities and those at different levels mckinsey sets the rule for a season and the other two follow but it can't get complacent with the other top firms angling to get toppers from b schools like hbs to wharton In the United States, given a single location, undergrads make about $90,000 base. And MBA grads make about $165,000 plus additional signing, relocation, retirement, health and profit sharing benefits. The salary increments are typically at the rate of 5% annually. Exit opportunities are numerous for MBA alumni, including top leadership positions such as a CEO or vice president at a Fortune 500 company. they'll also have the confidence to launch and ensure the success of a new business venture let's have a look at the consulting salaries at mckinsey bain and bcg while they are known for making their consultants work hard for their money they never shy away from rewarding them with the big bucks and perks here are some of the typical salaries by region obtained from publicly shared data Significant organizational and operational culture differences exist among the big 3 though there are some similarities too all three insist on equally demanding work ethos from their employees in all three consultants are each allotted one project at a time for better focus and they can expect to travel at least 4 days a week for most of their tenure and to work long hours when they are at their home office additionally mckinsey consultants more than those of the other two firms are likely to find themselves part of the staff at offices of client organizations around the world. McKinsey consultants are more likely to have to travel more frequently. Many of them visit about 8 countries during their tenure, according to one estimate. At Bain, consultants are more likely to be stationed in one office, though they may get a chance to work abroad at a client's office. BCG consultants are mainly based locally. though they may travel more than their Bain counterparts because of the firm's global reach to mention a similarity mbb consultants work mostly with c level executives and this is why these firms recruit candidates from top schools to maintain high standards of professionalism and sophistication their clients include fortune 50 to fortune 500 companies private equity and hedge fund firms and may charge them $500000 for a team of 6 for 6 months Operationally McKinsey follows a traditional formal and hierarchical approach. Even the consultant's conduct and style of attire appears to reflect this. In implementing the McKinsey way in effectively solving problems, 
They often seem to project an image of smart efficiency rather than an informal disposition. At the other end, Bain has a more friendly office atmosphere. Teamwork is the office theme, and work hard, party hard seems to be the slogan. In the middle, BCG is flatter and thrives on camaraderie and a collaborative work style among its consultants. Teamwork is a big thing at BCG too, but individual contributions are also valued. When it comes to getting a hang of new trends in the economy, BCG comes out on top. McKinsey alumni are believed to have a greater standing in the corporate world than those of BCG or Bain at a future job that you set your eyes on. They are also said to have a networking advantage because of the firm's global spread, but also because of its alumni association activity. BCG has the next best network, but the quality of relationship between Bain alums is probably the best among the three firms. Being a part of the MBB cohort offers more than an excellent employment opportunity. It is where knowledge is built, ideas are spawned, lifetime professional relationships are forged, and the security for a bright future is sealed. MBA Crystal Ball has helped many candidates get into the feeder MBA programs for MBB. And after graduation, many of our clients now work at McKinsey, Bain, and BCG. If you have similar aspirations, get in touch with us for professional career counseling and admissions consulting. Good luck.